Hi there, I'm Simon Thomas, and you are watching Talk Norwich City. Hey, what's going on, guys? Talk Norwich City here, back for another episode of Canary Watch. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a few transfer rumours that have just come hot into the press, so let's get straight into it. So a rumour that's been hanging around for a few days now and is starting to grow is Virgil van Dijk from Celtic. Yes, I know him and van Wolfswinkel would be the perfect combination for penis innuendos. But anyway, 23-year-old centre-back playing for Celtic, rumoured to be valued around £8 million. Pounds. I did actually watch him a few times last season when Celtic were on Sky Sports and nothing, and there was nothing else to do. And he looked very decent. He's got nine goals in 71 appearances for Celtic and Alex Neal is apparently very interested. Obviously, Alex Neal's got good um, knowledge in, this, in the Scottish football scene. So it's something, uh, that, that, that a player that he probably wants to get hold of. Now, we were the only people in for him until today when Swansea came in and said they are also interested. Obviously, a great player, a centre-back. We need uh, players in them defensive areas. £8 million. I think this one sounds about right for Norwich City. Dave McNally wants a few quality players. Virgil van Dijk is that person. £8 million, not a bad signing at all. I think this one could happen. The next player to be linked with Norwich City is Dame Ndoy from Hull. Yes, he's only been there since January, but as Hull got relegated, they want him out of the club. He's on £70,000 a week, apparently, and obviously Hull can't pay his wages. So, he's been linked with a few different clubs, us being one of them. He's 30 years old, he got five goals in 15 games last season for Hull, for, and for a sort of a relegated team, that's not too bad at all. Rumoured to be about a £3 million um, transfer if it was to go through. He's got a decent scoring record at every single club he's been at, but never really been playing at the highest level. He's 30 years old, so he's past his peak. £70,000 a week for a five-goal a season striker doesn't seem that good to me. Damon Doy, I don't want you, mate. Sorry. The next new rumour coming out of the press is James Hooper from Rochdale. Yes, the 18-year-old striker scored 23 times for the youth side last year. He hasn't made a first-team appearance, though, uh, but he is one of Rochdale's hottest young prospects. Now, I really, really don't see where this signing is sort of going. He's 18 years old. Yes, he scored a lot of goals for a League One youth outfit. Let's not forget we've got the likes of Carlton Morris and Jamal Lozer on our side. Why do we need a player like James Hooper? We've already seen how ruthless our youth system is. We let Cameron McGeehan go, for God's sake. Uh, a fantastic midfielder. James Hooper, unless he's absolutely stunning, which I can't admit I've seen him, then I don't see why we're in for James Hooper. There might be something special about him that I don't really know. Who knows? This one could happen. He won't be going into the first team as he hasn't even made in the first uh, first team appearance of Rochdale, who are in League One. So I could find it hard to believe that we are going to be genuinely in for Hooper. But Hooper uh, on Twitter, James Hooper this is, was responding to a few of his mates about the rumoured link with Norwich City. So this is a valid rumour. I don't know why we're in for him. It's a strange one. Who knows? James Hooper might be a Norwich City player in a few weeks' time. And finally then, the last rumour of the day that is really, really exciting me. I've already spoke about it a few times. It's Yedlin from Tottenham. Yes, he is confirmed he will be going out on loan this summer. We just don't know where to yet. Amy Lewis of Sky Sports uh, confirmed it this morning that after, after Tottenham signed Kieran Trippier, he will be going out on loan to a Premier League club, it looks like. Now, Norwich City, the only really team in for Yedlin at the moment, or, or the only sort of strong link is Norwich City. I'd love to see Yedlin at the club. I think this one is genuinely going to happen. I said it in the last Canary Watch, it just works. It just seems like this is right uh, and at the right time. I think Yedlin will be coming to Norwich City. I'm not sure how this rumour is going to progress over the next few days or weeks. I think it will happen. It's just time, I think. So, Yedlin, I really hope you're at Norwich soon, mate. So thanks for watching another episode of Canary Watch. There are a few other rumours, the likes of Daryl Murphy to Norwich. I'm not even going to go into that. If we sign Daryl Murphy, I'm not going to be happy. A 32-year-old Ipswich striker. I don't think that's valid. I think that's just the newspapers making up. There's a few other ones going about. But I thought these were the most important ones for today. A few very exciting ones in there. Please leave me your comments on what you think of them in the comments section below. Feel free to like it if you've enjoyed the video and share it out on social media to see what your friends think of these uh, transfer rumors. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.